not yet, I would say. Um, I, I think um, the whole program uh, taken together with all the proposals on tax hikes that could create a little bit of, uh, of uh, headwinds for the market going forward. But as we don't know um, how those tax hikes really look like, and I think they will be watered down in, in the following negotiations, uh, the market is quite complacent for now. That could change. Your overweight European equities. Uh, explain the right. reason behind that. Is it because we are seeing the earnings picture uh, recover uh, strongly because European markets are perhaps cheaper than global peers? Uh, that is certainly one factor. Uh, the other is that the, the US is, is humming along on every growth cylinder, I would say. Um, everybody knows it, so the, the, the expectations are, are already factored in mostly. Uh, for Europe, this is not quite the case. Uh, we are catching up quite nicely when it comes to, to the vaccination process. Uh, we're seeing reopenings, we're seeing mobility creeping up in, in Europe. And I think the catch-up potential is uh, still underestimated when it comes to growth in Europe. So this is one factor where I think Europe is uh, lagging behind. And that is something uh, which, which the market can uh, really play.